But on the subject of the innovation taking place across this field now, Dr. Dalia Megiddo joins us here, the CEO of Nasus Pharma. Appreciate you being with us here as uh, to highlight um, some of the innovations coming out in this time of, of crisis while there is no cure uh, for this virus. Uh, we see various innovations taking place. Uh, your, your company here is is leading with one of them right now that you, you brought to us today. Tell us about it. All right. So first of all, this is not a medicine. This is a protective measure. And uh, the technology that is behind it has been developed for the last three years. We are a, comp a biotech startup company that developed the drugs for intranasal delivery. And when the pandemic started, we figured out that we have a great technology that can cover all of the nasal cavity now we can use that to cover it against viruses. And, and basically this powder is, when it is insufflated into the nose, it absorbs water from the nasal mucosa and creates a very thin micron-sized gel. Now the gel is covering mechanically the, the cells, but it is also with very low acidity. And that means that when the virus enters the nose, it is basically annihilated in the in the low acidity and mechanically prevented from reaching the cell the cells of the nose. One question I need to answer sure. is why the nose? And as as you remember at the beginning of the pandemic, people thought that there are many ways to contract the virus. Since then we have learned that the virus needs a receptor in, in order to get into the cells of the body. And this receptor is more prevalent by orders of magnitude in specific cells in the nose. And from then downstairs there's, there's much less receptors. So we now know that this is the main portal of entry of the virus into the, into the body. Therefore just covering and chemically annihilating this virus is going to be extremely important. Now, I know that masks are becoming the norm worldwide now, and more and more requirements in place for those now. Is this a replacement, perhaps, for, for a mask? God forbid, okay. no. <laughs> First of all, it, it, people need to remember, masks have a very important place in the public health. Right. And that means that if somebody is shedding viruses and he wears a mask, he is protecting Stops the environment. The from, from a carrier. Yeah, there's less evidence of how it can protect a healthy person and the way people use masks when they actually put it on their... Uh, you know, on their mouth at, at the best, best. yes, yeah. covering at maybe best. the mouth. So yeah. that does not uh, give us a, a perfect protection, and this is an extra layer of protection that is less dependent on compliance. Once you put it, it creates a gel within 50 minutes. The gel lasts for five hours. Five hours. Yeah. So the only thing you need to do is remember to to use this before you go into crowded places. And. Uh, what about, what does it affect your sense of smell? I mean, do you, can you still smell with this gel? Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, this actually is a powder that does not contain any drug. It contains only inactive ingredients that are uh, recognized as safe by FDA and uh, approved for use as uh, nasal excipients. So uh, no, no safety issue at all, and, and this powder uh, uh, the main ingredient of this powder have been used in pharmaceutical industry for like 30 years, so it's very well known. Well, yeah, uh, innovation and, and again, this, the thought going into to innovating in this field is so important. Uh, what's next? Or is there something else you're working on as well at the company? Oh, absolutely. Our company, you know, started off by developing drugs for intranasal delivery. Uh, and we aimed at medical emergencies. Uh, take, for example, a child or a person that have a, an acute allergic reaction, and c currently you need to inject we are uh, replacing that by uh, nasal delivery. Uh, another product that is actually going into phase three now is naloxone, which is uh, aimed at uh, opioid overdose. That, that was uh, the prior epidemic. Extremely uh, important yeah. field, right, of yeah. course, certainly in places like the United States, but worldwide. Uh, Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Dalia Megiddo, thanks for being with us here and for sharing your innovation with us and wish you luck with it to Thank all you. of us. Thank you for having me.